Welcome to the shop. So today, quick tip. So here's the problem. You've got this receiver and you have this speed controller. You want to get that battery call out. Click a button, go look at my, one of my videos, you press a button, it tells you the voltage on the battery. Flight pack, 22.7 volts. Really cool. Now, they sell, they being Spectrum Horizon Hobby, sells a little pigtail that goes right in, a little plug that goes right into that, and then you put that into either, there's a couple different ways of doing it, but one is by getting one of these extensions and doing some soldering work. Well, <clears throat> problem is that little, this little guy right here that you need is out of stock. How do you make your own? How can you go on Amazon, get the right plug, and there's some caveats. No kidding. These wires are reversed on what Horizon sends. So if you go to plug this into your receiver and plug this other end into a battery, you'll learn the hard way like I did. Pop! And uh, some uh, problems ensued. So let me reiterate. What I got from Amazon was reversed from what Horizon sells. So get the Horizon one if you can. So don't do that. Here's what I'm going to tell you how to do this. Stick around. Hope you enjoy. Real quick, I'd like to just mention, though, if, if Horizon had that in stock, no doubt that is the solution that I would go with instead of getting what I have from Amazon. I will say that on this, the, the wires are going to be better. Uh, the larger gauge, silicone, higher quality, a lot of things there. I'm cobbling something together to kind of play with it, and I needed this for a project I'm working on. So, caveats on that. Let me walk through this whole connection, uh, this whole thing. So, um, I'll, I'll have a link that this is what I bought. Uh, it took me a while to figure out what kind of connector uh, they were using on that. I had a couple, and there's various sizes of these kind of things. But I'll have a link to exactly what I bought. Um, here's the problem, though. As I mentioned, this needs to be this needs to be uh, swapped over. This being and a couple of ways you can do this. I take a little pin lift up that tab and that comes right out. I like to push that back down. I'm going to take this tab, pull this tab up, pull that out, and then immediately I'm turning around and shoving it back in. They only go in one way and if you put them in the wrong way, well, they don't work. It doesn't fit. Got to have good eyes. All right, and then test it. Give it a little tug. Push down on these little tabs. That usually helps too. All right, so now this is right. What I typically do now is I will mark on there on the red side with a marker just so I know that these polarities have been reversed. Um, so when I, it just helps me keep track of some things. Now, a couple things that now you got this little guy here. Okay. So, um, this is the end you're going to keep. Now this is for a five cell battery. Uh, I don't have any five cell batteries, so I don't really care. This the reason I don't care is because this is just for example. If I had a 6S battery, I need to use the proper plug for a 6S or a 4S or whatever you're using. You got to use the proper plug. This is the only part you care about right here. I'm going to keep the red wire in. And if you just tug, you can pull these wires off. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to pull all those off. Come on, get out of there. There you go. And then you're taking uh, that and that. Don't care what you do with that. So now you've got this guy and this. You're going to solder those two sections together. And you're good to go as far as this 
pigtail configuration is set up. You can vary the size if you want. Uh, your soldering skills, you're going to have to have some soldering skills to do this. You're going to have to have shrink wrap of the proper size. Highly recommend buying something like this so you have every shrink wrap you know, that you might need. Anyway, when you put that together, this now is your pigtail. This goes in the receiver. Um, this connects to your uh, balance plug. And then if you set up your telemetry right in your radio, you will be set and getting callouts on, on your voltage. Good luck. Again, I want to say, if you can get the one from Horizon, you're much better off. Another thing, you can solder this into your ESC or even into a BEC if you wanted to. There's a couple options there uh, instead of using the balance lead. You know, keep in mind, if you do not know what you're doing on some of this stuff, don't do this. You're going to blow up either a battery or your receiver and you'll be very unhappy. So with all of those caveats, have a great day.